Ooh, we've got an amazing view of the game from up here. Really? I hadn't noticed. So nice to get away from the Whole Fish Cafe and try something different. Hmm, I'll have the seafood pizza, please. Ah, uh, so many choices. Um, what would you recommend, Norman? I recommend you hurry up with your order. Come on, Come on Go, Punchy Panda United! Nice one, love. She's nearly as good at soccer as I am. Oh, ah. Ooh, here, Sam! I'm open, Elvis! Ooh, ah. Stop! That's not how you dribble. This is how you dribble. Ah, to me, sir! I'm free, Fire Captain Steel! I've got this all under control! Oh! Goal! <laughs> uh, no, Elvis. Watch a carefully, Norman, and you'll be a master chef in a no time. I don't want to be a master chef. I want to watch some soccer. First, we make a nice and neat circle of bellissimo dough, like this. Next, a nice a big dough of a tasty tomato sauce. Ah! Oh! Yeah! And then, a beautiful big handful of mouth-watering mozzarella. Finished. And now I'm free to watch the match. Ow! Uh, I hate making pizza. Woohoo! Sam, over here! Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? No. No, you're not, Elvis. Oh. Penalty kick to Ponty Panda United. Get ready for the penalty kick of the century. Uh, oh, stop. Watch and learn from the professional. This is how to kick a penalty shot. Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. It's an own goal. Yes! Goal! Goal? Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... <laughs> oh, ah! Ah! Food. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Elvis, I I'm not sure juggling vegetables tonight is a very good idea. You're right, Sam. Good. I'm glad you're thinking. Because here's what I'm going to do instead. Tonight, Firefighter Cridlington is going to be juggling on stage with flaming torches. So it's time for Operation Certain Inferno. Fireman Sam, you'll be leading the line here. Yes, sir. Firefighter Phillips, I want you up here on Jupiter. And Firefighter McKinley, you'll be covering from here. Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Phillips, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter War, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. 
I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band. The Strum Master 2000! Ta-da! That's place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Dad, you need to stop! Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Oh. Fire crew, today's exercise will require courage, sacrifice, and a healthy coat of paint. Wow, your miniature model of Pony Panty looks amazing, sir. Very impressive. Indeed. But if I'm going to finish it before tonight's grand unveiling, I'll need your help and the assistance of a trusty professional builder. Oh. Unfortunately, he wasn't available, so my flood will have to do. Oh, is that supposed to be me? I don't always wear that awful green outfit, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and granddads, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Brace yourselves for the breathtaking trapeze act. Ta-da! Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> trapeze act? Huh. That's just a tire swing strung up to the rafters. No, it's not. Ah! Oh, ah, 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 ah. Act two, the incredible plate spinning routine. Ta-da! Oh, oh, um. Are they meant to be falling and smashing? Norman, have you seen Aunt Phyllis's good china plate? Um, no, Mom. <laughs> what was that? Um. Act three, hilarious clowning. I thought you said this show was going to be spectacular. It will be, I promise. Wait till you see my next act. Wild and exotic animal taming. Ooh. There. A miniature garden at my miniature cottage. <laughs> Now, to glue on the flight pole. Oh, careful of the wet. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ah, Paint. Ah, ah, my minivan. Ah. Ah. Watch out. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, Fire Captain Steel. Great tangled hoses. My village. It's a shame more people didn't turn up to see them off. I just hope they get a good crowd to welcome them back. I think we need to make sure that happens. Mandy, Norman, go and drum up some support for Ben and Hannah. We need a good crowd to welcome them back. Ooh, okay, Sam. And I bet it can get more people than Mandy. In your dreams, Norman. In my dreams, in your dreams. Oh, dear. What have I started? There's no hurry, you know. Oh, yes, there is. If I'm going to beat you... That's where you're wrong. You see, long-distance paddling is about pacing yourself and enjoying the moment. Hey! <laughs> I enjoyed that moment. Did you? <laughs> Come here! Oh, fantastic posters, Mandy. That should get a lot of people out here to see Ben and Hannah. Thanks, Sam. Um, any idea what Norman's doing? He seems to be very quiet. Ah, not so quiet after all, then. Posters? Is that all? They're not very loud, are they? I'm going to put up some more posters. Um, Sam, my hands are stuck. Don't worry, Mandy. Let's go and unstick them. Look! 
The northern boy. We're nearly there. Yay! Racing to the boy. Or are we pacing ourselves? Oh! Ben? <laughs> Like you hurt yourself. Me? <laughs> Not at all. I'm fine. Cool. Well, all we have to do now is paddle back. All we have to do? Are you sure you're okay, Ben? I'm fine. It's just that to go back, we'll, uh, we'll be paddling against a really strong current. Not as strong as me. Ponty Pandy, here I come. Me too. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> I think I'll use masking tape from now on. Well, hopefully your posters and Norman's shouting will have done their job. I think the posters will have worked better than Norman's shouting. I heard that, Mandy. Actually, this is my shouting. It's an amplified advertisement. Now that's something you don't hear every day. Huh. Are you all right, Norman? I, I, I swallowed a... <laughs> Thanks, Fireman Sam. That's okay, Norman. Any sign of Ben and Hannah, Penny? Not yet, Sam. Mind you, the current is quite strong today. That's Ponty Pandy Island. We shouldn't be here. It's the current, Hannah. It's stronger than I thought. It's pushing us away from the mainland. That means we're a really long way off course. Uh-oh. Ah! Cut! Cut! I think we better call Fireman Sam! James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. It's an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Sam. Penny, shut off the electricity at the box. James? He's fine. It's a good idea not to keep oily rags lying around. They can catch fire easily. I'm really sorry, Sam. I'll be more careful in the future. And Norman Price? Next time you make a movie, have a grown-up supervise all the stunts. Yes, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I put you in so much danger, James. Norman, we can't film anymore. All these rescues have almost filled up my memory card. Oh, really? Norman Price is Jake Pond, international firefighting super spy. Yay! <laughs> Dangerous stuff is my middle name. No, it's not Norman. It's Stanley. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are a professional actor after all, Sam. Oh, thanks, Penny. That stunt double is fabulous. Who is he? <laughs> the name's Sam. Fireman Sam. <laughs> I'm not 
not sure invincible is the right word. Uh, why do I have to have Norman on my team? He can't even skate. Don't worry, Derek. You've got Super Penguin on your side. <laughs> well done, you two. Every sidewalk in Ponty Pandy safely sanded. Splendid. Just the driveway to sand now. Uh, this is all we've got left, sir. Oh, dear. Well... We must use whatever sand we have left sparingly. Uh, how do we do that, sir? By applying my maximum cover, minimum sand method. Uh, otherwise known as shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, 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 sir? Oh, yes. Now, watch carefully. Shaky, shaky, shaky. 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 Come on, everyone. Shaky, shaky. Don't just stand there. Grab a shovel and join in. Shake. Okay, the rules are our team has to stop your team from hitting this can. And our team has to stop your team from hitting that can. Well, that's not going to happen. Ready, steady, go. It's three against two. No, it's not. It's three against three, Derek. You've got the super penguin on your side. Yes, he does. Oh, no. I cannot believe we are related, Norman Price. Huh? Mike, you'd better hurry up. It's getting dark. Soon the kids won't be able to see what they're doing. They will now. Ta-da! Shaky, 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 Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some sand left. Marvelous! That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a... <laughs> I'm fine. Good thing we've got some sand left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam? Shaky, shaky, Ellie. is stuck on a horse, which is stuck in some thick, sticky mud. Roger that, sir. Tell Ellie to bring Phoenix and meet us there. It's an animal rescue, so we'll need you to come along too, Lizzie. Okay. And I'll need someone else. Arnold. Huh? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ellie, remember to turn your siren off so you don't scare the horse. Roger that, Sam. Get me off! This is nothing like it is on the TV. Close as you can, Ellie. I'll get Norman to safety, and then we'll need to get the horse in the harness. Arnold, can you keep it calm? Me? You can do it, Arnold. <laughs> now.
now. Don't you worry about anything. Yeah. Don't worry, Norman. I've got you. Phoenix will get you out. Well, when I say Phoenix, technically speaking, it's a purpose-built 4x4 off-road vehicle. now, please. Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Joe! Lizzie! Come and have a look at this! Uh. 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 Whoops. Oh. Uh. Yes, yes, yes. You stay there. Gently does it. Is everything uh. all right, sir? Uh. What do you think, Cridlington? Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Fireworks! There's a fire! Ah! Oh. Oh. They're in the tent! Where do they keep the fireworks? There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks? Those things could go up like a rocket! There's a fire in the tent. Well, they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Keep back, everyone. Those fireworks could go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, I know. Penny, you keep the fireworks boxes hosed down. Yeah. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Looks like this tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks okay? Well, these ones are a bit soggy. But I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go get the one from last year? Hello, Hannah. Hello, Norman. Um, we're looking for an injured fox, Trevor. And we really need a lift to the cliffs. The cliffs? Oh, I don't know, Hannah. That's not really on my route. Oh, please, Trevor. You'd be such a hero. Just like Fireman Sam. Oh, uh, <laughs> a hero, eh? Hmm, yes. <laughs> How did you do that? That was amazing. Just keep an eye out for the fox. Now, Radar, let's see how fit you are. Oh, I hope Radar's all right. Come on, boy. You can do it. That's my radar! We've looked everywhere for that fox, Hannah. I really should be getting back. No! Please, Trevor. If we don't find him, Mom will be really mad. And if you go, 
We'll never get back. You'd be a real hero if you helped us, Trevor. <laughs> you got something in your eye, Norman? Uh, no. I, uh... Look! Up there! I see something red, and it's moving. It's the fox. Oh, I'll get him. Uh, no, Norman. That's a very tall tree. Let me do it. I am Chief Pioneer, remember? <sighs> oh, I just wish that I hadn't had that oh, pot pie for lunch. Keep going, Trevor. Now a little to the left. That's it. You've got it. It's not a fox. It's not? It's a kite. Oh! 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 All right, Trevor. I think so. It's time to call Fireman Sam. I'm happy to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! The ocean rescue uniforms are lined for warmth in water and brightly colored so you can be easily seen. And they have a whistle. I love that whistle. Oh, Sam, just in time. Oh, thanks, Penny. So, let's see how fast you can all change. And go! Good time, everyone. Now, take those off and we'll get back to the station and see how fast you can change into the animal rescue uniforms. You all right, Elvis? Oh, yes, I'm fine. You go on. I can catch up. <laughs> and Jesus. Oh. So, we're going to have to work very, very hard. We're going to bake all the extra pizzas that Granddad needs. Sarah! Oh, Sarah, can you stop huh? playing ninja carrots and start making pizzas? <laughs> Sorry, James. Yes, James? It's yes, chef! Hello, James. Just checking that everything is going okay uh, with the pizzas. Everything's fine, Granddad. They'll all be ready in time. Uh, James, we still need to cook them. And there's not much room in that oven. Ah, huh. we've got another oven upstairs. Sarah, take those pizzas up and put them in as quick as you can. can't fit any more pizzas in this oven. I put as many as I can in the upstairs oven, James. Uh, I mean, Chef. But there are still loads left. <gasps> There's an oven at my house. Perfect. So you take the rest and put them in your oven, Hannah. Go, go, go. Um, yes, Chef. <laughs> uh, uh, very good, yes. Yeah. Oh, Redlington. You appear to be wearing an ocean rescue uniform. I am. I can't get out. Ooh, stay right there. I might just have the very thing. The animal rescue uniforms are a softer color so as not to scare the animals. And they are made from a material that is very easy to move around in. So, let's see how fast you can change into these. Crippington, get the animal rescue uniform on. I can't keep up. Time to call the fireman. Mrs. Chen is driving a bus full of children and it can't stop. Mrs. Chan is driving a bus full of children, and it can't stop. Penny, you and Elvis.
Elvis go in Phoenix. I'll take Mercury. Roger that, Sam. There. Now everyone in Ponty Pandy can come and get their healthy food. This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! the odds. I want my mom! <laughs> I'm going to climb on now! These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way, and the old mines go into the mountain this way. And they get pretty close just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Norman Price. The bat had nothing to do with it. Caves can be very dangerous places, Mandy. You must always stay with your group and never wander off. I know, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry, everyone. And bats really are harmless, Norman. Look, here's one. Ah! I'm being turned into a bat! He's certainly ah! flapping about like a bat. At least I don't need to go underground to study bats. <laughs> I can study Norman the Bat instead. <laughs> uh, would you mind getting me a cup of tea? Huh? Two sugars. Uh, 
Oh, well, of course. Hmm. What's happening? I want to see. Quiet, Norman. Has he found the treasure map yet? He's found something. <gasps> what is it? Shush, Norman! Don't shush me. Incredible! Oh! Quick! This is our chance to see what he found. Come on! Wait for me! I'm the treasure hunter. Huh? It's not the treasure map. It's just a boring old book. Maybe we don't need a map to find the treasure, Norman. This is Ponty Pandy Pete's logbook. Uh, I knew that. This riddle will lead thee to my treasure. <gasps> Follow, Follow the, the old man's gaze till, till you get, get to the rock. When, when you're, you're at, at the end, end of the trail, X marks the spot. <gasps> That's all we have to do. Solve the easy peasy clue before that pokey nose professor does. And I'll, I mean, will <laughs> find the treasure. Is that so? <gasps> the pokey nosed professor has returned. Uh oh. And if there's any treasure finding to be done around here, I'll be the one finding it. Okay, Professor. Sorry, Professor. <laughs> Whatever you say. Uh, we'll see about that. The hunt is on. Follow the old man's gaze till you get to the rock. When you're at the end of the trail, X marks the spot. Ah, ah! Whoa. Follow the old man's gaze till you get to the rock. When you're at the end of the trail. That's me, sir. But you, I, uh, upstairs. <laughs> what did I say? There, one bouncy castle. Ooh, I'm pooped. Can we have a try now? Not yet, Norman. It still needs to be pegged down. Uh, how long will that take? Hold your horses, Norman. Oh, my leg's gone to sleep. Well, can you wake it up and go get the pegs? Please? Hey, okay, okay. But no bouncing while I'm away. It's not tied down yet. Norman, what are you doing? My dad said it wasn't ready. I'm just testing it. What's wrong? Scaredy can't bounce as high as me. Of course I'm not, but... Come on then, Mandy. Prove it. All right, I will. <laughs> To rock and I love to swing, but the thing I love best is when the fire bell ring. A dingaling, a dingaling, a just one, one more verse. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. <laughs> I am the biggest bouncer. The biggest show off, more like it. No! I better call Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea.
castle heading north northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Norman Price! What are you doing in Bessie's shed? It's all right, Norris. I'm here. Oh, uh, Gareth. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Well, as long as he's properly supervised. Have you got anything like a plane engine or a high-powered rocket so the dragon can fly? Well, I've got this old luggage trolley. If it's on wheels, then it might look like it's flying. Hmm. What's all that stuff? That's all the fire lighting equipment we use to light a fire in the steam engine. Wouldn't it be really good at lighting fires in dragons, too? Oh, no. That would be far too dangerous, Norman. <sighs> Only if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, look! Green paint! Huh? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, look, Jupiter! They're starting the smoke room training now. Now then, I'm off to rescue Dolly. You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper and her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Credlington, until Jupiter is clean, pristine, and gleaming. Hmm. Hmm. Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. <laughs> mm. Oh, here comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold. My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Wow! Huh? Oh! And it's coming toward us! Oh. Careful, James! I'm trying to be careful! Oh, oh Sam is going to love his cake! this one. You haven't managed to catch one yet, Norman. If I don't catch this one, you can have my best propeller hat. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Oh. 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 I was supposed to catch that. Oh. 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 It's normally me that does that. Oh, no. Mandy, throw them a light. Oh, uh, I'll get Ben. You can't, Norman. Dad says he's on Potty Pandy Island. I'll call Uncle Sam. Phyllis Price is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. Phyllis is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. Ah, Penny? Come with me to the Ocean Rescue Center. Elvis, you help fire Captain Steele. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam!
Dillas. I'll pick up James and Hannah. Roger that, Sam. Oh, my cake's got a soggy bottom. Leave the cake, Dillis, and grab hold of this. Get James first, Sam. I'm a much stronger swimmer. If you're sure, Hannah. I am. Well done, James. That really was froggy spectacular. <laughs> it's not fair. How come James gets to be that big froggy star? Because James has been reading all about frogs and how they move, Norman. And he's practiced for ages dancing in those flippers. It's really hard. Ah, I could do it way better than James. Watch. <laughs> Norman, just be happy to be a normal froggy like us. But I want to be the star of the show. People should be clapping for me. Me. Here we go, everyone. All right. First part of the drill, put out the fire with hoses. Roger that, Sam. That's you! Ah! 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 Craglington! Sorry, sir. Maybe you should help Tom with the second part of the drill, Elvis. He's going to pick up water from the sea in that carrier and dump it over the flames. Ooh. Good idea, Sam. I like going up in a helicopter. Yes, and then you'd be uh, out of the way of uh, Fire Captain Steel. Uh, soaking wet again. Always happens when Crittlington's around. Can't wait to see the show, eh? Have you heard? James is the star. He's got the big finale. Oh, I bet it'll be spectacular. I'm feeling a bit nervous, Mandy. Don't worry, James. You'll be great. Definitely. You're our top froggy. <laughs> what was that, Norman? I, I, I should be the froggy star. I could easily dance in those flippers. No, you couldn't, Norman Price. But I could. There's only one star in this show, and it's James. And he's going to be amazing. <gasps> or maybe he isn't. Old star of the show. <laughs> That's the first fire out. I have to say it's a lot easier without Cridlington around. <laughs> Can I press the button yet, Tom? Not yet, Elvis. The water's ready to drop, but we've got to be in exactly the right place. Uh -oh. I'll tell you when. Let's go! Hmm, this looks like fun. That's the bendy wire game, Uncle Sam. You have to move the hoop from one end of the wire to the other without touching it. Ah. <laughs> you touched the wire. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Wow, not as easy as it looks. But Uncle Sam, what can I do while you're doing that? Ah. Uh, um, <laughs> I know, James. Why don't I give you the Fireman Sam Challenge? The Fireman Sam Challenge? Oh. Yes, you look around the house like you're a firefighter doing an inspection and check for anything you can do to make the house safer. Oh, great, Uncle Sam! <laughs> right, here we go. Ah! <laughs> Right, kids? So that's how you weave your twigs together, eh? So, if you get started on your little animals... We'll get started on our big one. Uh... I'm going to make a turtle. What about you, Sarah? I'm going to make a squirrel. Sorry, need these. What? And these as well. But we haven't got any twigs now. They took our twigs, too. And mine. Four feet high and rising, mate. We'll soon have a bear much bigger than anything the wild men in Newtown could build. But we're gonna need more sticks. 
Come on, guys. We can all build it together. As long as we still get our bushcraft badge. Right, Pioneers. This is going to be the tallest wicker bear in the world, eh? Hooray! If you can't beat them, join them. I suppose. We should check the batteries in the smoke alarm. Good idea, James. It's very important that the smoke alarm is working properly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, uh, ah! Ah! Well, what do you think? It's amazing. I'm quite impressed, actually. Great, eh? Big and wild. Wild enough for the, the wild, wild men, men of, of Ponty Pandy. Pandy. <laughs> we should get it. Four, three, two. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, 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 Train! Can you hear me? Fire on the train! Oh, I better call Fireman Sam. The Ponty Pandy Flyer is heading into the mountains with no driver. <gasps> Sam! The Ponty Pandy Flyer is heading into the mountains with no driver. And is on fire. And is on fire? And is on fire. Copy that, Fire Captain Steele. Sir, might I suggest sending Penny, Elvis, and Ben upriver in Titan, just in case we need backup. Good idea, Sam. Norma, so is so from outer space. Oh, yeah? Which part of space? Um, planet at Bandy Pond. Wow! Do you have sponge cake there? Of course not, because it doesn't exist. Don't believe me, huh? Then feel the force of Normaxos cosmic freeze ray. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, there's no one driving the train. And it's on fire. Look, Uncle Sam's here. Uh, we're going to be okay. There's no need to panic, everyone. Move to the back of the train and stay calm. Look out, Sam! Um, I'll get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. One more one. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on our interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman? Norman, this isn't the time to... Shh, I'm on a call. It's all right, James. Nearly there. Ah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever! It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, okay? Yes, Sam. Faster! Faster! Oh, this car chase scene looks incredible! Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman! Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James! This is the bit where you have a spectacular... 
Ocular Crush! Uh, I can't do it! Uh. It's okay, James. I'll call Fireman Sam. This McChin fellow is top notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go-kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go-kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. Ah, uh, I may as well be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! Ah! Ah, Mr. Pond, I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. <gasps> it's a trap. Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut, tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. Or being tied to a chair. Stop mm. complaining, James. All you have to do is direct a beam of sunlight through this magnifying glass and burn through the rope like this. Yeah. Now let's try 20 jumping jacks. What's up? Out of breath, old chap? With all due respect, sir, we really should warm up before we start exercising. Less talking and more action. And that's how glass bottles can cause serious fires. Right then, I think it's time for lunch. Now, you two, help Trevor get the picnic things from the bus. Aww, I'm too hot to get things. Now, let's see you bend and pick up that fire bucket. Ten times, please. Oh, my back. Oh. Oh. Don't stop. Carry on, oh. carry on. A refreshing cup of tea. That's what I need. Oh no, I've left the milk on the bus. You two stay here and keep your eye on that stove. Yeah, this is so boring. I'll tell you what wouldn't be boring. Why don't we go and check out that old boat? Oh yes, great idea, Derek. Quick, before Trevor gets back. Oh! I twisted my wrist. Oh! Now swing those buckets round from side to side. Swing! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh, my neck! My foot! Ow. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm calling Nurse Flood. She needs to examine Ellie's foot and see if she's broken anything. <sighs> Maybe we should stop now. Shame. I was just getting into my stride. <sighs> this is going to be amazing. Hang on. Where are the oars? They're not here. Is there anything else we could use? Ooh, floppy shovels. They'd be perfect. out, Norman. Now I've lost my paddle. I think I can reach it. Oh, uh -oh. oh, no. Now I've lost mine. We're floating away. Only one thing to do. Help! 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 What's that? 
<gasps> That's Norman and Derek! Oh, dear. Sam! in my room isn't quite as much fun as I thought it would be. You think? Your room is totally wrecked and stinks of fish. Maybe you need to get him into some water. The Ponzi Pandy pool is nearby. Huh, we could take him there. Now! How are we going to get him into the swimming pool without anybody seeing him? What am I going to do with all these boxes? I think it might be better if you filled out the hydrant forms this time. Okay, Sam. That way, I won't think about that poor, lost, little, waddly penguin. Pressure at 1.7 bar, Elvis. That's all you need to put down, Elvis. 1.7. Elvis, uh. what are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought I'd do a missing poster of the penguin, in case anyone sees him. Hmm, I'm thinking I'll just remember the 1.7 thing, Sam. Probably a good idea, Penny. <laughs> now then, Mr. Penguin, time for you to get out and enjoy sausages. <gasps> uh, sausages? There are sausages in this box! <gasps> we took the wrong box! So where is Mr. Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rio? <clears throat> Or ocean breeze over Canada. <sniffs> oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box. Then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. <laughs> I wonder what's in this one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! My scented candles! Oh no! Fire! Oh, oh. <gasps> the door's blocked! Too many boxes! I'll need to go upstairs. Ah! Oh, dear. I've never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose there's a first time for everything. Ah! Ooh! 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 I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Uh, she'll only do those stuff. Right. So I think if we all hold things like... This will look more like volunteer firefighters. Good idea, Trevor. Oh, I get the hose. Actually, Mike, I think as I'm the chief volunteer firefighter, I should hold the hose. Actually, I'd like to hold the hose. Me too. Who says it's just the men that should hold the hose? No, I. it's mine. No, uh, let, let go. No, it's mine. <laughs> Put it it's down. Mine. It's mine. Okay, Trevor. Let's let go, Dillis. Good idea, Helen. Whoa! Perhaps I should have just gone to the beach today. Oh no! I don't think I'm in Ponty Pandy anymore. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, Tom, don't panic. Be cool. Use your helicopter pilot training. Think. Uh, swim to shore. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll swim back to shore. But, uh, which way is the shore? Okay, now, no poses, no brave faces, nothing to hold. Just stand by Jupiter and be yourselves. All right, Sam. Looking great. Now, don't move. Taking it in three, two... Radar! Give me back my sausage! No, come on, give it back! <sighs> Where's Tom? The dinghy's gone! Why would you take the dinghy out in this weather? The tides come in past where the boat was. Tom must have fallen asleep and floated out into the fog. Come on, kids. We need to call Fireman Sam. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Sorry, volunteers. 
You'll have to take your own photo. Penny and Ben, Tom is lost. Get Neptune and Titan ready now. Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam. Elvis, you come with me. Okay, Sam. like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. Gareth is missing on the mountains in the storm. Gareth is missing on the mountains in the storm. Gareth was with the children. They must be up there too. We'd better take Saturn. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. The centerpiece? Oh, now look what your bat's done! Take it down now, James! Ready for your spooky party, guests? <laughs> yeah! <Awesome. Yay. laughs> Enjoy the party! Cool bat! Wow! Amazing! It's really big! Thanks! I made it! Now, who's ready for some of my monster dancing? Yeah! Oh, Garbage. It's getting in the way of my dance moves. That is not garbage! Oh! <laughs> uh, I know it's here somewhere. Uh, uh. There! It's time to create the ultimate party centerpiece! Sarah's spooktacular house of scariness! <laughs> 
Thanks for taking the candy apples, Penny. Ooh, uh, I'll get it. Uh, Elvis, remember, don't cook the candy for too long or it'll get too hard to use. It needs to be runny. Okay, Sam, runny it is. Ooh, tasty candy apples. I can't wait to make you. <laughs> and, oh, aha! Ooh. Freeze! Not yet, sir. The candy has to set on the apples. Oh, this waiting's just miserable. So, how's it going, Elvis? Oh, I think we might need some new candy. Ah, and a new pan. Hmm. Amazing! What's amazing? Oh. Thanks! I made it! So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But, so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? <gasps> So nice and peaceful. The cafe's on fire! Stop! We have to call Fireman Sam! Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Fire Captain Steele has finally given up on the candy apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah! <laughs> Norman, what's this? Did your mom finally let you get a dog? No, this is Auntie Phyllis's dog. But if I can show my mom how good I am at looking after it, she might let me get my own dog. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All ready for a walk by the river? Oh, yes. I have my day trip bag, my handbag, and a bag from Phyllis filled with doggy supplies. <sighs> okay, we're back. Now watch this. Jump in. Jump in. In. Norman, when you're telling the dog what to do, you should use her name. So you say, jump in. Uh, what's that? Norman, I can't hear you. What's the dog's name? It's Lady Pufflepaws! Aw, oh, Mom, what did you say that for? <laughs> that name is so embarrassing! <laughs> Okay, I set up the new desk. Are you sure it's the one you want? It, it's very. Oh, Mike Flood here. Oh, hello, Charlie. A licky sump pump. Say no more, Charlie boy. I'm on my way. What? <laughs> Morning. What's going on here? Fire Captain Steele has gone to Newtown. He's left me in charge of sorting out his new desk. Uh, Penny, have you actually seen Fire Captain Steele's new desk? No. Why? <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> it's really not. Oh, so you're having a picnic, huh? Uh, uh, quick, look! Uh, what's Norman doing? <laughs> if you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fire and sand.